this is Madden 19. I'm the coach. You're locked into the NFL. Yeah, you coach. E Wolf Man Lewis, your godfather. Well, welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for stopping by. Here we are. Another episode of Reddit Sport. My career right here on Madden 19. You missed any of the episodes of Reddit on the channel. In a playlist. Playing against the Cincinnati Bungles. Actually, the Bengals, I believe, are coming in at 6-3. Uh, and three, So, I don't think they're really... Uh, I really don't think that they're uh, going to be a slouch. They did beat us the last time. Go in there. Let's see what we got going on here. On first and ten, Mayfield. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And down he'll go at the 25. Five yards on the catch there, there brings up it. second down. And partner, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal. Because everything Watch was it. right. Got uh, the completion, the but he's not one of the more dynamic guys the in the season. league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn there it into much more. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. Call it a game of four there, so it sets up a big else. play here. Third and a yard. Here. Right. Brandon, Brandon, all things considered, they have to really feel pretty good about that getting that type of a game, considering the blitz kind that they just of, uh, had against them. Kind of. On third down, that's Ford, and he's going to get to the 31, enough for the first uh, down. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive going. Uh, well, that was big right there because they're the exactly bottom five in the happened. league and converting on third down. Uh, they wait, needed that pickup in a big way. There, there were two things here. they said they wanted to win in this game. One, the turnover battle, and, and the second, third down I conversions. Go. So they got one there. A first down throw for Mayfield. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That's good for a Cleveland first down at 11 yard pickup. I do believe we'll see a little bit more of this as this game progresses because when you can have that type of a game in the middle of the defense, it hurts them in so many ways because most teams like to be strong down the middle. And if you can sting them there, that opens things Not up. Not getting anything going on the ground. Well, we got to get something big tight end is so good that middle the air, third to see ground the end routes. Stop. Yeah, you're right. Probably see more of that. Yeah, it takes a lot of courage and fortitude to go in the middle as well. <laughs> and he's got it. The numbers for him from a week ago. 22 carries, just shy of 140 yards and a touchdown. Are we playing old school football now? We've got a top 10 rusher in the league. He's sitting at number 10, but he has a chance to move up with a big time game. So expect that offensive line every time they go to the bench and tell the offensive coordinator, let's run the football. His run first catch there, good for 10 yards and a first down. Exactly so they'll come here. up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 at the 47. And they'll go with a ground attack here. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 11 more on that one and another first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. And here we go. Running game working, they'll stick with oh, it. Oh, no, down. we got it. Real and he's going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss sure. of a yard, and it'll be it's second down. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral type runs. But the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. Got that it. play got swallowed up. Catch number 44 of on the year. It's a first down. How about the start throwing the football? Four for four on this opening drive. Oh, he's slinging it. And oftentimes when you talk about slinging it, you're thinking about a guy throwing it all over the yard. Not that necessarily the first accurately. Quarter. In this case, though, he's holding in on his here. targets, and he's delivering. Yeah, the opening script, however, they drew it up for this first drive, going to plan so far. Back go. with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gauden. The Browns with a football to begin quarter number two. They're looking at a second and short yardage to start things out. And on the ground they go with a running back. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. That was an ugly animation. Seven yards on the pickup there, and now they've got it first and goal. 
And that's the big fella's M.O. right there. Running through tackles, keeping the sticks moving forward. And this defense, if you don't bring 11 guys to the ball to try and get him on the ground, he's going to keep making runs like that. I feel the press box shaking every time he touches the rock. And he's going to pull his way down to about the one Great yard rushes, line. 40 yards for so Denny. Eight yards there, and it'll be second and goal. That's what they wanted out of that first down play. Run it down there. Now they're knocking on the door. The only thing that would have been better was getting it in. And now they can do Where whatever they want because they've got confidence on their side. Line up quickly and go or savor it a little bit. But I run right back at them. Second and goal from the one. To him up the middle. And, and there it is. His way into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. A great effort there. Hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And the Browns are able to cash in for six. And he was you excellent on that drive. He deserved to be the one to get across the chalk. Oh, I agree with you totally. A workhorse. And there you have it. Denny Ford. It's across on that one. The PAT is good. Browns up seven. That kickoff. First and ten, second and three, first and ten. Oh, second and ten, third and seven. Looks like the Bengals are driving. No, oh, they didn't get nowhere. All right. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29. Then rushes 50 third. yards and a touchdown for Denny the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits, and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. And in motion. And they'll go on the ground. And some space here. Oh, what a run by Dennis Ford, right? What a run by Dennis Ford. That was good for 35 yards on the ground and a first down. That was a beautiful to the run. Right side. If you're a running back, you love getting the ball early, so you have vision to see what's happening warning. in front of you. Right tackle likes that call. Big play for him, but don't forget about the guys you always tell me on the backside sealing off. When they talk about cutoff blocks, making sure no one can leak from the backside that can run a play down. Yeah, nobody leaked. Big play. All right, coming up at intermission. Charles, you want a way to enhance your Saturday? I certainly do. Uh, I've got just a thing for you. It's the coach, Jonathan Coach, with standing by Orlando. He'll be alongside and have to take us through the weekend in the NFL. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. And give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very oh, heavy in the there. running game on the last four plays. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. So far, four plays in this drive, all four on the ground. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and they're going to have a third down. Mayfield. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 13 yards to pick up there. Good for a Cleveland first. And they'll run it here. And they'll lose yardage here. Knocked back to the 19-yard line. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Well, with the kind of half he's had, I think we can forgive him that run, right? Not every run's going to be a big play, is it? No, and also the blocking just wasn't there. No room to run. Yeah, defensively, they got to find a way to build on that because he's eating them alive in the first half. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he get a good head of steam going. And he has the first down before he's tackled at the five. 
They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Here we They'll go. try and run for it on first and goal. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. He'll get it up the middle. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as he'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. The Browns on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. They're looking at a third and goal here. They'll give it to him right up the gun. And he'll get him a bit closer as he's down to the two-yard line. Give him a couple on the run as it, it brings up the fourth down. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference Randall's on the scoreboard. As we'll head down. All right, hang on. We'll we're not handing on anywhere. We're handing it. We're going to get the ball to start the second half. And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 104 yards, 19 the rushes for Getty Ford today. 11 yards on that pickup. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. Right back to him. Oh, he got down. hammered, boy. He and come right in there. Of revenge there. He's had He's his way in no this one, but this here. time they get him behind the line. And they'll go with a ground attack here. And he'll get this up only to about the 33. 20 rush, only a yard on the game there, and that'll set up third and 13. Bad, so where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. Mayfield on play action. And he's got his man, that's Landry. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. A really good pickup of 28 yards. Here we go. They'll run it now out of the gun. And an alley to run. And he's taken down inside the 30. 11 more yards that go around. A first down as well. Now this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And he'll take this down just shy of the 25-yard line. Jesse Bates made the tackle from his safety spot. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping... This big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Had a nice broken tackle and then brought 24 down rushes right around the 20. 21 for Danny Ford. Six moves him to a manageable third and two situation. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. And he takes it down to the 13 and picks up the first. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Dre Kirkpatrick, the cornerback, up to make the stop. Mayfield looks to throw. And he is caught at the seven-yard line. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. It's a gain of nine yards. And that'll lead here to a third down. And he's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version oh, of the man. in the NFL. I don't think we even got anything out of that. Fourth and one. Oh, well, we're going to kick the field goal. Ten nothing. First and ten, second and seven, third and seven. First and ten, second and ten, third and eight. We're going to get the ball back. Right. Ah! 
And on the ground they go with the running back. And he'll go down, and that will do that it. That is the end of the third the quarter. Third quarter of action. Three quarters have come and gone. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. All right. Back now in Cincinnati. It's the Browns football, and they've got the lead here as we start quarter number four. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. Only a couple there, so he'll be brought down about the 28. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they won't put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. Okay, that's and not he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. And a loss of three to bring up four. Oh, crap, it's fourth and seven. I wasn't aware of that. Now they feel on fourth down. down. We got it. No, we lost it. And that is incomplete. Boy, it looked like well, that was a mistake. We shouldn't have went for it there. Boy, up 10 nothing. but who cares? Yeah, we got to be careful. We don't want to lose this, this stupidity. And that Cleveland I, I should have to take the field. There. That last touchdown has made this really tight. They're clinging now to this slim lead. What, the, geez, the second half, they only have a field goal. This offense needs to kick it into gear. And right now, I'm looking directly at the field general, at the quarterback. This, to me, he's got to take over right now. By word, pumping his team up. And what a run indeed after with his the catch play. by Denny. My school coach used to say that all the time. Laddie. Take over by word and deed. And deed means action. Exactly. Well, partner, I'm not that sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. And they'll go on the ground. They'll fight forward for a couple down inside the 40. Offensively with the lead, you want to run the ball, keep the clock going, but you also want to still kind of be in attack mode too, right? So how do you do that and not come back on your heels? Yeah, think about all the practices we've watched where they have that tempo period to go over things just like this, where they describe the scenario, tell you what they're looking for, and make sure that they're still attacking, yet at the same time not going so fast as to leave too much time on the clock. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's oh, hands. Oh, no, we didn't get anything. He can go for a field goal. And not much running room. Down to the 32. Go for field goal. Yep, got it. 15 10. 15 10. 24. 32. They got a touchdown. And oh man, it's 14 13. We, yeah, we have seen a lot on the scoreboard here in this quarter. So, you know, sometimes you talk to me about tendency breakers on offense. These defenses struggling. Oh, Are there tendency no, breakers no, no, on no. defense? No. All defensive coordinators keep something in their hip pocket for these types of situations. What can we do to slow down the onslaught? If I should have went but for the it on that. The biggest thing is make sure these guys encourage each other, there, pick themselves up, because right now it's right. been a really right. tough ball game trying to stop these offenses. Oh, it really has, especially as oh, a late. His throw incomplete. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. There was the pressure you were talking about, forcing the incompletion. And it doesn't always have to end in a sack, does it? Sometimes you can make a good play by forcing the incompletion with the pressure. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for... We're going to punt it. Fourth and eight, first and ten, second and ten. First and ten, first and ten, first and ten. Second and third, first and ten. Second and eighteen, third and eleven. Fourth and nine. And looks like we got 48 seconds left. We can win this by a field goal. Hurry up, here we go. He's back to throw. Oh, he's got or maybe not. Go, my man. Complete. A big play that time for Cleveland. And even 40 yards. And he did exactly what they needed him to do, Charles. Got out of bounds. They have no timeouts. And they knew that before the play even began. Still executed it. How many times have we seen it happen where you know it, yet a guy's still looking for a timeout or trying to stay in bounds? He got it done. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. 
All right, my man, this is now where it's risk-reward because on defense, you've got to crowd the line of scrimmage. You've got to get in all the gaps, get up tight on everyone, and try and force the field goal attempt here. You can't let them break one big, but you know something when you crowd the line of scrimmage, if they do pop one, it's going to go away. Yeah, as I said, could take it to the house, but the magnitude of this possible upcoming field goal, every yard counts. All right, they're going to go for a field goal. We are 44 yards field goal, and the Browns win it. So 16-14. Interesting final chapter to this what a game! Here in this one, Nail biter, because they right were to the in end. field goal range, could have won it with a field goal, elect to go for the touchdown. I, I still don't know what they were doing. As great as this game was, and as dramatic an ending as we had, the post-game press conference is going to be key because they're going to be asking coach. There you have it. Why not a field goal attempt there? You got an opportunity to win it right there with your with your guy, and instead you run another play. Yeah, we might need to stop by that press conference on our way out the back door here. Yeah, just slow down the plane for us, all right? We got we to get an answer before we go. So for the Browns, it's a win they needed, if for nothing else in their sanity, as they move to four and six. And they'll get another road date next week as their opponents will be the Pittsburgh Steelers. Meanwhile, for the Bengals, it's a bit of a setback as they drop to six and four now. And they'll be at home for one next week as the Baltimore Ravens come to town. That'll do it for us. I'm Brandon Gordon, alongside Charles Davis. Thanks to our entire crew as well. We'll talk to you next time. So long, everybody. There you have it. Ladies and gentlemen, another episode done and dusted. And pretty much of a thriller there. As they said, the Bengals had an opportunity to uh, get the field goal and possibly could have won it there 17-16, but they elected to go for the thing, so it's act or elected you to go for the excuse me for the touchdown. So it kind of helped us in our favor. Kind of helped in our favor. And we're going to advance the league here. Advanced we got week, I should say. So as he said, we'll be taking on the Pittsburgh Steelers. And our next episode, much love to everybody who jumped in. I do appreciate y'all. If you're new, scratch those claw marks to the bottom right hand corner of your screen, coming over to Wolfpack Fam today, slip and buy the bell icon, become part of the Vacation Squad. Do not forget to put a like to the video. It's much appreciated. We'll see you for more. Dennis Ford, my career here on Madden 19, Wolfman Lewis, your godfather, Wolf. Ow. Ah.